Very good morning to all of you and be welcome to our morning blessing program of today, Thursday. We are just a few days for this special Sunday of the, uh, when we will receive the water of the greatest miracles. We have been talking about that all this week, last week also, but most of all, all this week we have been talking about this because it will be a special event, a special morning to all those who will be at the house of God receiving from that water. And more than the water, please understand that when we say you will receive the water of the greatest miracles, we are talking about the miracles that you will achieve using that water. Miracles that God himself promised in his words and we have people uh, that have been using that faith in the word of God because when when do we have faith when we listen to the word of God those who don't listen to the word of God but they listen to the word of friends uh, professionals they they only hear the voices and the advices of other people but they don't follow the advices of the word of God they don't have this faith inside of them to achieve the miracle they need the miracle they would like to have it but they don't think they have enough faith or they think they don't have enough faith to achieve the miracle and why do you who are there now watching us think like that because you have been listening more to what others they say about your problem, about your disease, about your depression, about the problem that you are having, you are facing in your marriage. You have been listening more to what other people they have been saying about your, your child, your son, your daughter, than what God tells, to, tells you through his words. I have one thing to say to you. Jesus said all things are possible for those who believe. So please watch these testimonies. What did you achieve using the blessed water? I was very sick in 2017, Bishop. I was mm -hmm. very, very sick. Suddenly my nose started dripping mm -hmm. and um, for three months, it's, it continued. I had to carry a napkin with me. I was so ashamed of myself. I wouldn't go out because as soon as I put my head like this, then it would just like you open a tap, then it, it uh, drips like that. And then I went to the doctor and the doctor said that there's a fracture in your brain and the liquid from your brain is leaking and then you have to do an operation very soon, otherwise you will die. And my daughter was so worried, she was arranging for me to go to India and have the operations. But my son said, you come here, you come here and you have the MRI done here and then we'll find out. So I, I flew from Fiji to Australia here and the same day I came, it was Sunday, three o'clock I came here and Pastor Michael was here and he prayed for me. He said, you come on the altar, he gave me the water to drink. And from that moment, as soon as I drank the water, I came down from the altar, it stopped. It stopped and the next morning was my MRI. And the pastor said, come in the morning, before you go for a, your MRI, you come here, I pray for you, your reference. And the first thing in the morning, I came and pastor was here, he prayed for me. And I went for my MRI, they couldn't find anything. And my son and my husband, they were so surprised. And my son said, do the CT scan now. And they did a CT scan and they couldn't find anything. And then my son wasn't satisfied. He said, you, I'll arrange a neurologist for you to see because you have been suffering for three months. And then- They I, couldn't believe. They couldn't believe. And when I went to the neurologist, he couldn't believe, he couldn't find anything. He said, what happened? For three, for three months, you couldn't even put your head down. And uh, I had to carry a um, bishop. I had, uh, in one hour, the whole, the whole napkin it was wet. So I had to continue with it. And then from that moment, and he couldn't believe it. He said, what happened? I said, I just went to church. I believed and the, the pastor gave me water and from since when I came down the altar, I haven't even used a tissue since then. 
And since that moment, since that moment until now, you didn't have that problem any longer. No, Bishop, because... Totally healed. Totally healed, Bishop. I had a severe headache and neck pain uh -huh. since I was using the water. And then, actually, I've got my um, the lamp under my arms mm -hmm. and then I went to, to check up and they took the x-ray and then first of all she said uh, you had like little uh, the lamp under your arm okay. and then when I was using this holy water and I'm um, praying as well we did and then I went to again and then she said like uh, she took x-ray again and then she did said it's gone you know it's absolutely gone Yes, and then she... And you didn't felt no more pains, no, no nothing. No pain. Totally healed. My neck as well, you know, three months since, and then was very painful. Mm -hmm. And then I used the holy water, I washed myself, and then it's gone totally. It's from this well that the water is coming to us here in Australia and also worldwide and you will receive this Sunday 9 30 a.m. in all our branches a bottle with the water we will be mixing the water that will arrive from the temple of Solomon with water that we have here you who have been coming to the church you see that we have on the altar the table on the altar we have there big bottles with water that we have been consecrating to God, presenting to Him, and then we will mix that water with the water from the well. It's drinkable water, of course. We will be mixing this water to give to you. And it's by faith. Please understand what you just saw, those miracles, and the other testimonies that you will see in a few moments. They achieved them by faith faith and you have that faith inside of you like we were saying before the testimonies sometimes you think you don't have the faith the enough faith because you are listening to what others are saying and not to what God is telling you God has been speaking with you every day through this program you know God brings us here every day in the morning to do this program to talk with you because he knows that you are suffering but he also knows that besides that suffering that you have you also have faith inside of you you believe in God you have faith in God and he wants to show to you that he's powerful to change your life to change your situation but for him to do that he needs you to show that faith and that's why we are inviting you to come and receive from this water. Like you see, the bishops and pastors, they have been praying, consecrating that water since the first day of this year. Since the first day of this year. By fasting, praying, these waters are being purified, consecrated to God. And once you receive the, the bottle with the blessed water, it's not a common water it's a purified blessed water that by faith will help you to achieve the miracle also in your life we are here with bishop at the temple of solomon just standing by the well of the waters that daily have been consecrated in prayer the Lord Jesus, he said to his disciples, actually, it was a challenge. He said that if we believed the same deeds, the same things, and greater ones will happen. So we are positive, we are sure about this. I had also problem and I couldn't eat anything spicy or any citrus or anything. Doctors told me that it is a open ulcer like a big sore and they said we need to operate on it as quick as possible. He brought me on the altar and he gave me the whole bottle water blessed and he said drink it all now. From then onwards it slowly healed everything in me. 
our Lord and our Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we present to you this well with water at the Temple of Solomon. Father, we believe that the same miracles that you performed in the past will happen nowadays as you yourself promised. So you can say to those who are watching us now that using faith, drinking from that blessed water, it works. It works. And by faith, you have to be knowing that God is able to do everything. Everything is possible with Him. You can fail. I want to invite you all who are watching now, you who have a disease, you are sick, someone in your family is sick or have addictions, you have uh, insomnia, depression, no matter what problem you are going through, the 22nd of this month of January, 9.30 a.m., you will receive, has, she received a bottle of blessed water and you will know you will be teached how to use that water with faith to achieve the answer of God also in your life. In Liverpool, 153 Northumberland Street, Liverpool. For more information, check out our website, uckg.org.au. I am here with Heywan and she have some um, experiences. She had some experiences using the blessed water. Hey, one, please tell us what was what were the experience that you had using the blessed water? So the first time I ever used the blessed water was on myself when I was new to the church. I was going through my deliverance. So at home, I would put a little bit of the water on top of my head and I would rebuke the evil that was causing the negative thoughts that was putting all the doubts in my mind. And I would also drink a bit of the water in order for God to cleanse me so that I was able to receive the Holy Spirit and I was cleansed where, so the Holy Spirit can come upon me. What else did you saw using the blessed water? So I also used the blessed water on my mom. So I would give her, my mom had diabetes for many years and she was taking the tablets. It was managing, but it wasn't getting rid of it. So I used the blessed water I would give her to drink and sometimes I would even put some in the food when I was cooking on the days when she, want to, she didn't want to accept to drink it. And later on, um, she went back to the doctors and the doctors took her off the medication and said that she was completely healed. So she no longer has diabetes anymore. So you achieve those miracles to your faith through the blessed water. So to those who are watching us right now and they are going through some situations similar to the ones that you, you already said, what do you tell them right now? There is nothing that God cannot do for you, just as long as you use your faith. And especially if you use something that is instructed by you, like the, uh, the blessed water, when the pastors, they say, use this, use that. It's not because they just do it for the sake of it, but it's because it will actually help you. It would like prov uh, provoke your faith, if that makes sense, in order for you to actually then use that element and through that, God will see your faith and he will give you the blessing, the healing, whatever you're fighting for. So it does work. I have here with me now Nirupa. And you also had an experience with faith using the blessed water. What was it? Yes, I used the water. Um, I had a pain in my stomach. Mm -hmm. I had this pain for a long, long time when I came to the church. I had that something inside my stomach was going around everywhere. Mm -hmm. I can feel that like it's like a lump or something like that. But when I was in my country, I went to so many places, doctors, and they couldn't fix my problem. So when I came here, I pastor gave me the water and he told me how to use the water. And every, every day I used the water until seven days. Mm -hmm. I used my faith. And let me just interrupt you. Each time that you were using the water, how you use it, the water? Just drink it or you would drink, you would ask God, do me a miracle. How do you use it? No. When I use this water, I used first thing in the morning and I prayed for that, that uh, I want to see this miracle. I want, I want this sickness to be gone. Like I had that faith that it will going to be better. But, and then I was using my faith 
every morning seven days i was using this water after seven exactly seven days before seven days the pain whatever it was in my stomach it went away yes and so, uh, and since that moment until now you didn't felt any more the, the, the pain didn't came back no pain came back nothing in my stomach it's all free If you need and you want more information regarding our branches, addresses, or any other information, you can do two different ways. You can call to us if you want to talk with one of us and get more information, or you can go online to our website uckg.org.au, and there you will see the pastor, the online pastor. You can chat with one of the pastors and ask the information that you want to know. And also on our website, you will see all the addresses from all our branches. I will be with all of you here in Liverpool, our branch in Liverpool, in 153 North Hamberland Street. We are in front of the Liverpool Plaza and close to the Westfield Shopping Center. So this Sunday, 9.30 a.m., also 7.30 a.m., in all our branches, you will receive that water. Of course, for those who are watching us from Queensland, Queensland, we have different times on Sundays. We have 8 a.m. and 10 a.m., only on our church in Queensland. All our, ch our other churches, it's 7.30 and 9.30 a.m. Life is full of challenges. Is your love life one of them? Are you dissatisfied with it? Perhaps you are frustrated with the endless dramas. Unrequited love, marriages that fall apart, rejection, contempt, betrayal, the fear of being alone. Have you reached your limit? Do you want to give up on your love life? Does it seem to be one heartbreak after another? Wait, it is still possible to have a fulfilling love life. However, it is vital to transform your mindset before you can overcome anything. You can then have a fighting chance to conquer your happiness. Join us at the Love Therapy Seminar. Learn to love intelligently. This is what we will talk about today in the Love Therapy here in Liverpool, Melbourne and also Queensland. I would like to invite you all to be with us 7.30 p.m. today. Hmm? You are going to listen some powerful advices, <laughs> powerful advices that will help you on this rebuilding yourself. What is the meaning? In first place, you need to understand what's the meaning of rebuilding myself. <laughs> what does this have to do with you? What's the meaning of that? You will learn about that today, okay? And other things, of course, that will help you to improve your love life, if you are married, if you are dating, if you are alone, you don't have, you have no one, you don't have no one, but you want to be happy in your love life. Perhaps you are, you have no one now uh, because you were betrayed, because you were deceived and you, you choose to be that way without no one for a time until you recover yourself. How you will know that you recovered yourself from those wombs. Hmm? That's what you will learn with this, uh, with the teachings of the rebuilding myself. Okay, it's the, the plan for your love life, the project for your love life. I will finish now our morning blessing program. May God bless you all abundantly. Tomorrow, Friday, I will be with all of you here 8.30 a.m. as usual. May God bless you and see you tomorrow.